as well as model lines, it's also possible to add model text to the family, which will add 3D text inside the model space. I'll select the model text tool and I will edit this text and keep it as it is for the time being because when I place it I will associate it to a parameter. So select OK and note how the text is now appearing on the current work plane that is selected. Note that I cannot change it in the options bar. So what I will do is cancel. I will set the work plane. Currently it is set to the reference level. However, I'm going to pick a plane and I will actually apply it to the side of this frame face here. Now if I select model text, click OK, it will now place the text on this work plane. I can't currently rotate the text, so I will simply place it. So I can see that it is hosted onto this face. If I select the text, I can change the depth as an instance parameter. So I'll just change this to two millimeters. I can also apply a material, set visibility graphics overrides. So I'll only want this to be visible in fine view. And I can also set the text. I can associate it to an existing family parameter and I will choose the manufacturer built-in parameter for this specific piece of model text. I can also use the rotate tool to rotate this text 180 degrees to ensure it's in the right position and orientation. If I go to my family types and scroll down to the manufacturer parameter, I can see that it is filled in with this text, which is reflected in the model text. Additionally, I can apply it to a subcategory and also associate it to a yes, no visibility parameter if desired. Once that's placed, I can load into a project. I will override the existing version. And it is not visible currently because the view is set to medium detail level. If I change to fine, I can now see the text like so. And I can see the 3D nature of it if I zoom in. Model text is however something that is not often used within families due to the number of faces that it produces. This can significantly reduce performance in Revit models, especially if large amounts of model text are used across many families. So this is something that I personally would not add into families. And if there is any information that needs to be shown, this would typically be done with a parameter and a tag rather than a specific piece of model text. But this lecture or video is just to indicate how to create and place model text if it is truly desired as part of the family.